fire season off to an active start. It's where we begin tonight on ABC 4 News at 5. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. Thank you so much for joining us here this evening. Already this year, nearly 400 fires have burned more than 40,000 acres of land, almost 90% of which were human caused, we're told. And as fire season ramps up, some experts are asking Utahns to do their part. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner has more on how we can help our firefighters on the front lines. It doesn't take 60 foot spruces to have fire danger. Dr. Kuhn says homes in dense vegetation areas along the Wasatch Front, ranging from the Cache Valley to the Salt Lake City area, are high risk during a wildfire. But homeowners can bring down that risk by creating defensible space for firefighters. The firefighters, if they're choosing, do I go there and I'm going to be safe and I'm going to save that home? or do I go there and I'm gonna put myself and my crew in danger. To make the choice easier for fire crews, Dr. Kuhn suggests fire smart landscaping. The first three to five feet from the home should be a no burn zone. Five to 60 feet should consist of well-maintained lawns, shrubs, and trees. 60 to 150 feet should be clean of overgrowth and have few trees. Remove trees so that you have clumps of vegetation but with no or little vegetation between the clumps. That's an example. So one clump might burn, but it's well away from the next grouping. If you don't know where to start when creating defensible space, Dr. Kuhn says think of it as reducing <laughs> the amount of stuff that can burn uh, that you have control of. And thank you, Kay. Dr. Kuhn says creating defensible space needs to be a team effort among neighbors. He says if one house on the block is safe, it helps make the others safe as well.